Right guys, we're back and we're straight into action. The RB30 180. So we're just hoisting this thing up in the air. And we're gonna pop this uh, dog box in. This should be very easy. Um, just gotta bolt the bow housing on as normal. And then, what is it? It's, all it's got is four studs through the um, dog box. Very easy to access. Um, top her up with some oil, put the shifter on, which is easy. And start the motor, which is dangling down there. And we will be able to crank her over. Whether we um, do a quick compression test, just to <laughs> get a bit of an idea of what we're working with or just start up it's kind of getting late so yeah don't know we might wake up the whole neighborhood if we start up and it's got this custom drive shaft here thick boy thick but it's actually quite light so all should be very easy right oh so she's hoisted up in the air just checking out this lock here pretty hectic for a simple setup no wise fab here I'm sure that will be more than enough. We're gonna figure out this uh, transmission schematic. So we hoist on under here, and instantly, you know she's an RB because we've got oil everywhere. Everything you touch is oil. Situation is, we need to take this um, clutch off and change the spigot. What happened is, um, the reason he took the box off is because it got damaged. I think a couple times and it's just been freshened up but the reason it happened is because it had the wrong spigot yeah it turns out um she was all sloppy here on the input shaft which was causing it to um stuff was it fourth gear or something it was yeah, second, second. wasn't going in so here's the old ones here damaged this is a new spigot here which is oh, wrong way S snug as on there no play just got a simple bearing, pretty simple what it is really, it's just whipped up on the lathe by the looks of it. So yeah, we need to get the old one out and put this one in. Um, the problem is we don't have a clutch alignment tool for this. It's like a Holden or like GM style. Um, just got confirmation from Chad McKenzie. So yeah, we need to find one of those. Or being long weekend, I don't think we're going to be able to get anything, so we might have to just eyeball it and just keep trying to plonk it in until it eventually goes in. The young Icrometer FD reckons. Is he called FD anymore? I don't know. FD? Yeah, what, what do we call him? He's no more FD. Quit the game. RB Bowen. Where's Dave? Yeah, mahi hard. So yeah, Josh is already thinking of um, painting the cage. It's got this green cage. It looks a little bit tacky. Definitely doesn't suit the red. And might also put gussets in there too. But yeah, the plan is to eventually paint the whole car anyway. Strip all the stickers off and stuff and hopefully get it painted the same colour as our cars. The JZXs and we'll all have the same colour. And yeah, should look pretty good. All right, Chip's back. Can you explain this um, fuel cell up to us? Oh mate, so got the fuel cell here. Contains the E85, got a bit of a breather. See how it is. Then we've got the Carter lift pump, duty search tank. Then the search tank feeds these two Bosch 044 primary <laughs> feed to the twin, twin pumps, duty fuel rail. Then it goes to a side fuel pressure regulator. <laughs> And it comes back via research tank. Alright, we have turn line here and then it comes back to the main fuel tank, eh? <laughs> Just what we need mate. Alright, E85. Fucking got the business mate. <laughs> Ready to go for a run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, just a real gun, so. Oh, we do not have the right tools for the job. Oh, you can't make noise after five, so. Yes. It's a real problem. Times are actually tough for us. This thing looks like a flipping Forby. She's got bloody mud all under it. She's been doing some serious off-roading. Drift car life, no one gives a fuck. Josh is inspecting <laughs> a bit of nasty welding under here. <laughs> I mean, it is a drift car. Definitely a quick get it together and out there build. We've got a fucking youngin. Well, it could be for inspection purposes. <laughs> I don't know. Look. It's the right line. Yeah, at, the end, at the end of the day, if it works, then it's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to get too caught up in the finer details. <laughs> and this is the stuff people can't see anyway, so. 
she's all right. So you can see here the exhaust straight through system and it actually dumps out the side there by the side skirt. So it looks pretty nasty and I'd say she's pretty damn loud. And the screw and pipe goes out the bonnet. Don't drop the fucking chips. Oh, there she is. It's just a simple, what is it? Six puck setup. Yeah. Single plate. Nothing extreme. Looks mm -hmm. like it's seen better days, but yeah, the she's old puckaroos, they just keep going and going, so. She's been dealt to. Yeah, oh, that'll go again. I guess if it fails, then we'll try to get some sort of twin plate from Japan or something. Well, these things go down to the river, it's no worries, so that's fucking <laughs> straight up. That'll, yeah. that'll go again. That fly will spin hot boy horse. Oh, yeah, light and two, that's gonna come straight, straight, through. <laughs> straight through the tunnel into the legs. Fuck, that's thin, I've boy seen a few thin. videos of those. Oh, that's, boy. That's thin, boy, thin. So you can see the spigot there, it looks like it's half falling out already. Go try to grab it. A little bit of. I don't know about that. It's fucking on the piss though. It's crook. Oh, yeah, she's been sloppy. So you basically need to get that thing out there and pop the new one in. Hopefully she's all fucking honky dory. We don't exactly have a uh, bearing puller, so I'm gonna use a pry bar. Hopefully she should come out. Yeah, fucking homemade pry bar. <laughs> oh, Very RFB spec. <laughs> Holy fuck! What? Yep! Yeah, fucking torch out. Oh, get fucked! Jesus! The crank is ringed. When you think you've got a nice tidy hole. Oh, later, Paul. Look at that new bearing. Oh uh, well, <laughs> it works. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's, that's a fucking quick metal. <laughs> that is nasty. Oh, right, here's the new spigot. Fuck, I'm welding this in, eh? I don't give a fuck. Holy shit. <laughs> this is gonna be a permanent fucking spigot. Let's fucking weld that in. <laughs> She's sloppy. Oh, we have to get the die grinder out, eh? Clean up that crank. It's all burnt over. Oh, no. From that no, gearbox, no, no, no. <laughs> slopping around. So we're gonna need a die grinder bit in there and we're gonna have to literally hack, like whack that in with a hammer. That is fucking nasty. Yeah, I can see why the gearbox is fucking blowing up a couple <laughs> of times. It's been <laughs> slopping around in the crank like a bloody... <laughs> oh, a sausage down the hallway speck in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if this is the same input shaft. Nah, Surely not. Nah, it wouldn't be. It uh, would, it, no way. Nah, that definitely looks freshened up. Yeah. Otherwise that would have been reamed on the end there. Yeah. Holy shit. There's been some serious shit going on in here. <laughs> ah. Ah. That'll be life. We, um, Strikes back. We've got the factory bow housing. And it's just got this adapter plate on there to suit the Jericho dog box. Simple shit. Well, what's the time? Fire up that dog right now. Well, it's only yeah. 6 o'clock, I mean. We... We really want to start this thing yeah, up, hey, just to see what we got. Right. I don't give a fuck. We're far up the <laughs> The RFB. We're back into the RFB business and um <laughs> we okay. really hope this uh dog box doesn't fuck out again because of it. <laughs> We're back, baby. Yeehee! <laughs> As Josh quietly walks off. <laughs> I'm still treating the Jay-Z's right. Definitely not taking my workmanship from this fucking RB over to this Jay-Z. I'll keep doing things proper over here. All right, we're gonna quickly take this flow off to see what's actually going on and properly inspect it. See whether it's a flow that's reamed or the crank. <coughs> see if we can solve this. Oh boy, that's a tight boy, tight. Yeah, this. Not enough. Ah! This. No, it's not gonna do it. We need to fucking turn the compressor on. Ah! Do not tell me the flywheel is welded to the crank. That's shit. You're joking. Oh boy, I can tell you, we've got some bad schematics going on. Flywheel does not want to come off. 
Yes, it's a copper hammer. Don't get mad, people. Yeah. You fucking ruined it, murder. You fuck. There's some serious damage Holy to that crank, shit. Though. Yep, so she's definitely the crank. Not this as we initially thought. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, that is one nasty crank. But it's all good. Holy. We'll, we'll get her going. And the oil leak. Is that the rear main or the yeah. sump? I don't know. Is that an old spigot, do you reckon? Like, you know how the... Yeah, that's... What I was wondering, is this old spigot stuck in there? It looks... Because you know how I had to... Well, like, the auto ones... Yeah. ...have to take them out and they're bloody difficult. Yeah, for sure. Has someone not been bothered to take it out and just fucking, reamed it? Yeah, well, it looks like someone's been in there with a fucking dot punch or something trying to, you know, peel it open. Yeah. But... Is that the rear main leaking? Because yeah, we might as well know, do that. Well, we, it looks like it is. Mm. Like, I can see it fucking... It'd be stupid Yeah, it looks like it. it's higher than the sump. It's stupid not to do it while it's all apart right now. So we're gonna check out the spare crank here to see what the schematics are. So that's okay, that's not in there. It might not be an auto one, but see ours is all reamed, all this material's just been folded in. Mm. And um doesn't look like that at all. Made a meal of it. Yeah, so she's definitely not good. Um our only option really is to try die grind it and tidy it up and try to get the new spigot in. <laughs> Otherwise, literally, it's engine out to rebuild it yeah, well crank. to get a new crank anyway um, which is major so we're definitely going to try avoid that at all cost and see if we can get this um, spigot in there mm -hmm. yeah, I'll take the sharp edge off this and hopefully she'll just start and I was going to tap it on yeah and this outside one's like pretty naggy but tidy that bit there up and the rest of it's actually not too bad after a little bit of die grinding, it looks like the spigot might be able to go in now. Not ideal conditions, but we've got to try something here. Oh, what a way. Yeah, well, if it's crooked, then we can't get it back out. Yeah, okay. it's a fucking one of those things. Take the risk, but take the regret. Well, I mean, it's either going to be in there fucking tight. You know? So... Or it's gonna be crook and yeah, well, fuck the box. But, like, it can... As long as that hole's straight, it should square itself up. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck you reckon? Is it gonna go? I don't know. We'll soon see if it's square or not. Right. So we're trying to figure out now how far the input shaft's gonna sit in. I'm um, just doing a few measurements. But the yeah, vernier is here. Determine if we've got the spigot in far enough and it's not going to hit here. Yeah, it's a bit of schematic. So, have a bit of a measure up. Right. So, this is quite interesting. Um, we've just measured up. At the moment, the spigot, this um, custom spigot, is sticking out shitloads yeah, yeah. and you'd think it doesn't look right. But we think that's how it's supposed to be because we've measured where the input shaft's going to sit, which means it's not going to like bottom out well, the crank, on it. The crank's basically flush with the engine block, right? So that that's where the start of the input shaft, where the splines are. Yeah. So we basically have that much clearance. So it's all looking good. Um, we've measured around it to make sure it's square. Yeah, measured around. That's yeah. also good. So we might be lucky, bloody lucky on this one. And I think that's why the transmissions keep stuffing out because. The old spigot was flush so, with the crank. Yeah, it was so far in. I don't even think the spigot wasn't even on anything. Nah. It was just fucking chilling by itself. It's not good for so it. That's why it's stuffed out. Yeah. And here we have Kuro. Hey, Kuro, hey. What's going on? Oh boy. <laughs> serious dusties. No, no, we figured it out. Oh, we got some serious dusties, but we're fucking. We had the die grinder up, boy. We die grinded my crank wheel. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. By the way, we've never worked on one of these dog boxes or anything ever. We're kind of just trying to figure it out for ourselves. Um, but it looks like it's all going to plan. Hopefully, anyway. After our measurements, this was a spigot that came out. Just some bloody skateboard bearing or some shit. But yeah, so this would have been sitting like here. It wouldn't have even been doing anything. So yeah, this was oh nothing. 
and that's why she was stuffing the trans. Mm. So there you go. We've solved something here. Solved the Jericho. And issue. all going well. This should be strong. <laughs> Fingers crossed she doesn't blow up because us cheap <laughs> us cheap boy cheap cannot afford to rebuild a dog box. Cheap boy cheap. Not cheap boy cheap. What are you doing? Ordering fish and chips. Yeah. You just been hunting? Just been hunting, mate. Get anything? No, seen plenty though, but no big stags. Is it the big raw? It's for the comp. <laughs> the big three? No, the Tinaroto game comp. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Slaying some undersized hinds. <laughs> <laughs> some undersized hinds. So, what do you reckon about the car? Pretty sick. You want to see this ball baggy sending it? <laughs> the crank shaft's fucking bent. I don't really care. <laughs> Oh, it's looking promising. So yeah, the new spigot is going to sit around here. It's not hard up against that, which you don't want. And it's got enough area to be comfy on. I guess that's a lesson for anyone else. Um, if you're getting a dog box, there won't be many people, but make sure you get the right spigot. It's a custom critical. one by the looks of it, and not the standard one. Yeah. Critical, critical part. Yes. Yeah. But, um, yeah, quite... Interesting stuff to be honest, we're learning something. Yeah. Self-taught. <laughs> Hopefully we're teaching ourselves right. <laughs> Otherwise we're gonna have some expensive damage. Yeah. So now we've got to figure out this hydraulic release bearing. Never dealt with this stuff top. before. So it will slip on there somewhere. One's just the bleed, isn't it? Yeah, it needs a bit of fucking lubrication on there. So how does it stay there? It must be a fucking is that what these two are? Yeah, for? that's what I'm wondering what those studs are for. Is there something extra that Hold it. Oh, we're fucking missing that big bit with the shims. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hi, hi. So, yeah, we've got the shims there. He, he said to run these two, so I suppose we'll do that. Pretty sure we've got this the right way around. Like that. So, yeah. And that would obviously fucking. And then those, these lines should line up pretty good. Well, yeah, it might. Press up against the clutch, and then that's it. Yeah. Like so. It's fucking AIDS though. I need some fucking serious <laughs> lubrication. That's fucking crook. Jesus. Oh, it's oh, yep, tight. Yep, yep. Oh. Yeah, so that goes to your fucking That's it. bang and then that goes to the cab and then... It's pretty simple pretty really. basic. <laughs> For something that's supposedly, you know, quite hectic. <laughs> Simple as a fucking... Hectically basic. Yeah. Who are you tuning? No boy. Hey, eh? base maps, eh? Base maps, too. Right, listen to these fuel pumps. Bit of a test. She is hectic. <laughs> Fuck you now. So we're at a bit of a standstill at the moment until we get a um, rear main seal. Everything's ready to go in the trends and stuff. So while we're waiting, we're gonna delivery it. We're gonna peel off all these uh, stickers and yeah, see what it looks like afterwards. All right, so it's the next day. We had to wait until um, Repco opened to get some supplies. Josh has replaced the um, rear main seal and got the pressure plate back on. So now we're the flywheel. The flywheel I mean. <laughs> so now we're just um, trying to align this clutch. Um, couldn't find the right clutch alignment tool to fit that exactly. It's, what is it, like a 26 spline yeah, GM or something? Yeah, GM. So we just got this universal one. Shout out to Repco, hooking it up. As always. And yeah, so we just got to get this aligned, pop it in, and it should be good. Um, as you can see, not the best, like she's pretty worn. Yeah. Um, even that's got a lot of hot spots on it, but we're not in a position to be replacing it right now, yes. so. We'll just leave it for now until it really starts going out. I give it maybe two or three um, drift days, maybe. Yeah. These things are out of the rivets, so. Yeah, yeah we'll see what happens. Are but yeah, anyway, we're going to line this thing up and chuck it in, and then should be ready for the gearbox. I'm guessing it goes like that. Yep. Yeah, um, so one thing Josh has been doing is putting the medium strength Loctite on these because <laughs> <laughs> definitely don't want this uh, flywheel coming through the tunnel. Yes. Yeah, Paper thin too, so. Oh, yeah, that'll be want, nasty. I don't want one leg, eh? Amputation. 
<laughs> at no cost. I mean, usually you wouldn't really worry about that, but oh, yeah, these RBZs, I've oh, heard some horror stories about oh, these flywheels drifting. That one that had the flywheel stuck into the track. Oh, yeah. That happened here in New Zealand, right? Yes, very nasty. Mate. 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 You're back. Mate. Back. Chip. Mate. Mate. You're drinking, no drink today. No drink, mate, no drink. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> not, mate. Oh, good, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, bloody awesome, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's going to plan. Yeah. Right, guys, we're just down here at the shed. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're under here trying to get the box in, and we're having a few technical difficulties. So it's not going in any further. We're still about 30 mil away from the block, the bow housing. We originally thought you bolted up the bow housing, then the box onto the bow housing, but then we realized how do you get the release bearing onto the input shaft. So whether we're doing it right or not, I don't know. I think you can do it either way. Mm. But yeah, something's not right with the shims inside here. I've kind of got my torch in there so you can oh, see. Oh yeah, see here. It's um, already touching the pressure plate, the release bearing. And we can't push the box in anymore. Can't go forward. It's and it's still, in yeah, it's still like 30 mil away. So it's almost like we've got too many shims in there. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that's what we were told to use. So I'm going to pull it back out and try remove some shims and see what we end up with. All right, so we're trying to figure out this um, release bearing stuff. Like I said before, we've never dealt with these hydraulic release bearings before or these um, boxes, dog boxes. We think it's not actually the shims, but it's the release bearing itself is, what's happened is it's already pushed out, whereas it needs to be pulled right back to be installed. But it's not going back, it's like this has been damaged. Try to get it to focus. So yeah, we think it's um, damaged here and it's not sliding properly. But what we don't want to do is force it and wreck the seal, so we might take it out and try tidy it up, clean it up so it's um, not got burrs and stuff and hopefully it operates properly. Whole lot of learning going on here but um, I think we're getting there. Alright, after a bit of a struggle, um, the transmission is finally in. So we solved the release bearing issue, just had to push it right back and thought the transmission would have slid in easier than it did. But it's in, thankfully. So now just gonna put the... Now just gonna put the... Cross member in and stuff, drive shaft, and we on. Finally, box in, starter motor on. Just putting this uh, 60 mil wastegate on. Very tough schematics here. Oh, it's fucking AIDS. Fucking hell. All right, we got that on. Now we just need to line it up so um, she faces out the hole of the hood. <sighs> right, after much anticipation, it's finally come time to try start this thing for the first time and see if she's crook or not. See how this goes. 